So Apple just seeded the iOS 16.4 release candidate to developers, and this is the final version that will eventually be released to the public. Now 16.4 will bring a few additions like new emojis that were added. For the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max users, there's a focus mode now that can be added as a filter on the always on display. Safari is also able to now push notifications to your phone, but perhaps the most interesting addition this year is voice isolation for regular or phone calls. As a reminder, Apple released voice isolation about two years ago for iOS 15, and I actually made a video, which you can watch over here, showcasing the capabilities of voice isolation, which were remarkable. Unfortunately, that was only available for VoIP calls, so voice over IP, that is calls either using FaceTime or WhatsApp calls or any voice over IP. And um, people always asked how come they cannot enable this on regular phone calls? And that's because you can never enable it on regular phone calls, that is, up until today. So I figured I'd give you guys a demo on the voice isolation capabilities on iOS 16.4 for regular phone calls. Now, the way I'm going to do that, I have my iPhone 14 Pro Max running the beta version of 16.4, which has voice isolation, running the call to another phone with a voice recorder attached so you can actually hear how the voice isolation works. So let's switch that voice recorder. And right now you should be hearing me through the phone itself. I'm currently on standard mode and this is a quiet environment. I'm going to switch to voice isolation and I'm on speakerphone. As you can see, but that's now voice isolation on the speakerphone. In a quiet environment, you probably will not hear any difference. Let me switch back to standard mode. And now let me turn on a loud hairdryer on standard mode. Now, quick note, your phone does actually have noise cancellation. So there are multiple microphones on the phone. There's one over here. There's one on the back for the camera. So your phone during calls actually uses all of these microphones to detect your voice, detect the ambient sounds, and try to cancel them out and isolate your voice. So there's already a level Level of noise cancellation that is happening on the phone, but let's see if voice isolation has any impact. So I just turned on the hair dryer and I'm still on speakerphone, and uh, this is on standard mode. Let me switch speakerphone off and put the phone on my ear. So right now the phone is on my ear, and this is how it sounds with a loud hair dryer in the background. Let me again go to speakerphone. And now I am going to switch to voice isolation. So I just switched to voice isolation with the phone on speakerphone and the hair dryer is still running. So this is how the phone call would sound like with a very loud hair dryer in the background on voice isolation on speakerphone. Let me turn off speakerphone. And now this is how it would sound like if the phone was on your ear again with the loud sound of the hairdryer running in the background. Let me now switch to the camera's microphone so you can hear how loud the hairdryer actually is. And I am back to speakerphone with the hairdryer running on voice isolation. One last time, let me switch off voice isolation and go to standard mode. So this is standard mode with the hair dryer running in the background on iOS 16.4. As you can hear, despite the fact that the iPhone cancels out a good portion of that loud hair dryer sound, when you switch on voice isolation, it really isolates your voice, gives it more clarity and makes it more audible. Now let's head over to a club or to my computer with my sound system to give it a stress test, an extreme test with really loud background music. So this is what it sounds like with really loud music playing in the background on speakerphone in standard mode. Let's switch to the camera's microphone so you hear how loud the music actually is. Back to the iPhone on speakerphone, let me on my ear, so right now it is on my ear in standard mode. Let's go back to uh, speakerphone. So back on speakerphone, let me replay this segment. This is back on speakerphone, and now I'm going to switch to voice isolation. So this is how voice isolation sounds on the speakerphone on the iPhone. Let me switch it to my ear. 
So now the phone is on my ear in voice isolation. Again, the phone is on my ear in voice isolation. Let me play the segment one last time for you. So again, this is how it sounds like on my ear in voice isolation. And now let me switch to speakerphone one last time in voice isolation. So this is again on speakerphone on voice isolation and then switching to standard mode one last time. <laughs> This is now standard phone on iOS 16.4 on the iPhone. So it's obvious there's huge benefits to voice isolation on your iPhone. Now the added benefit, if you have Bluetooth headphones or earbuds, most of them also do some voice cancellation. But depending on what model you have, you might not get the best microphone quality or call quality from them. The good thing is voice isolation also works on your Bluetooth headphones. And let's give that a test. I'll be using the Bose QC35s, which have an okay microphone, but it suffers a little bit in noisy environments. So let's run this test with a loud music in the background as well. So now I have the Bose QC35s on, which are great headphones, but they don't have the best mic quality, especially in a noisy environment. I'm on standard mode right now, and let's turn on the music. So this is how they sound like on standard mode with the really loud music. And this is then voice isolation, and this is how they sound like with voice isolation on and the really loud music playing in the background. Let's turn on again standard mode. So this is again standard mode on the Bose QC35. So this is again voice isolation on the Bose QC35 on iOS 16.4. So that's it for now. As I said, 16.4 should be released to the public soon. It's currently in the RC version, the release candidate that was ceded to developers, but you should expect it sometime soon. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about the voice isolation capabilities of 16.4. And as always, if you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.